Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, your favorite medical channel. We are resuming our discussion on pulmonology series of lectures. There is a series on my channel called Pulmonology. Please watch these videos in order. In the previous video, we have talked about Russell bodies. Today, we'll talk about rhinosporidiosis. It's a horrible granuloma in the nose or could be in the mouth. So nasopharynx, oropharynx, larynx, etc. What's the causative organism? Rhinosporidium siberi. With that being said, now let's get started. Rhinosporidiosis. What does osis mean? It's a condition, that's why I called my channel Medicosis. It's a condition of medicine, which makes me sick. Granulomatous disease that affects nose, nasopharynx, oropharynx, larynx, conjunctiva. If it's a granuloma, the main cell is going to be epithelioid histiocyte or a macrophage. They fuse together, forming multinucleated giant cell, also known as Langrand's giant cell. And the etiology is Rhinosporidium siberi. Epidemiology. We thought it was a fungus, but now it's an aquatic protozoa. Reservoir is water and soil. It's endemic in these geographic regions, North and South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, especially Sri Lanka and Southern India. And if you look here, this is your granuloma. This is the nose. It could be also in the oropharynx, etc. Method of contamination or transmission, water and soil. Therefore, incidence of disease humming high among people who work with these areas that are related to soil. Clinical features, epistaxis, if it occupies the nose, do you think it's going to lead to nosebleed? Yep, because there are lots of blood supply in the nose. They can just damage a blood vessel leading to nosebleed. Nasal obstruction, absolutely. Renorrhea, runny nose, yep. Diagnosis. Clinically, it's a strawberry -like. Who named these things? A hungry pathologist. Polypoid mass with tiny white dots in the... Oh, that's why it's a strawberry? Okay, let's add some white dots for the pathology to be happy and for this to look like a strawberry. All right, here are some white dots. It looks like a strawberry. All right. Histopathology. Granuloma, baby. Multinucleated giant cell. And the presence of the sporangium-like structure or spore-containing structure because of the stupid aquatic protozoa called Rhinosporidium siberi. Now let's focus on the things that actually matter for your exam. Let's have a case. 45-year-old Caucasian male present to your office following for follow-up for his chronic condition. When he was young and naive, his parents had to put him in the prone position in order to clear his lungs of pus, like tons of pus. He has past medical history of bowel obstruction due to meconium ileus, as well as pancreatic insufficiency. He's taking Ivacaftor and Dornase Alpha. On speculum exam of the nasal cavity, you notice bilateral nasal polyps. On CT scan of the chest, there is bronchiectasis. Which of the following organisms are likely to be involved in a respiratory tract at this age and carries a poor prognosis? Here are your choices, Staph aureus, your Yersinia pestis, Mycoplasma pneumonia, Borrelia burgdorferi, Babesia microtii, not to be confused with Myscrotii, Vibrio cholera, Haemophilus influenza, what's this, Burkholderia sebacea, or Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Now let me make it easier for you. Which of the following organisms carry poor prognosis, I mean decreased survival, and even... You have to take the patient's name off the transplant list if you found which of the following organisms. Here's your question. So, at this age, poor prognosis, decreased survival. If you find this bacteria in the patient, you take his name off the transplant list. It's contraindication because we have a limited amount of resources and it's, it's just contraindicated to transplant. Why? Because it's also a bad outcome anyways. Whether you do a transplant or not, it's poor prognosis. Please let me know the answer in the comment section and you will find the answer in the next video. And the next video is gonna be about rhinosinusitis. If you are a student, I know you're struggling with staph, strep, legionella, mycoplasma, pseudomonas, rhinovirus, and all of this crazy stuff. Try my friend's website, it's called Picmonic. See the link in the description. It's a medical mnemonic with pictures and it's absolutely fascinating.
check the link in the description below they are not a sponsor of the video thank you for watching please subscribe and join the tribe hit the bell to get notified follow me on facebook i have more than 100 cases there you can get all of my cases all of my notes available for direct downloads on my patreon.com slash medicosis also i have one-on-one -on -one private courses if you are struggling with any topic in medicine i can call you and explain everything to you and send you my notes and send you cases it's gonna be amazing i do these courses all the time Thank you for watching as always be safe stay happy and study hard this is medicosis perfectionals where medicine makes perfect sense